Hello class. Okay, now I want to teach you a lesson. And that lesson is sometimes you know the basics and you know how to deal with the uh, question, but it's not enough. You should have enough practice to be able to handle uh, pressure balance or pressure reading questions. One of these, that, that type of question is this question. And you are going to see that although we know the basics, but the possibility of making mistake is very high because you need to have a good practice to be able to handle and, and pick up those points. Okay, let's see what is the, this question is about. We have two tanks A and B connected using manometer. Uh, if the way if a waste oil is poured into tank A, you can see tank A we have waste oil, this brownish color liquid, and the depth or the height of that uh, poured waste oil is H 0.6 meter. Determine the pressure of the trapped or air in the tank B. So we add that oil. Now we want to see how much extra, how much pressure we have for the air trapped inside uh, tank B. The question says the density of the oil is 900 kilogram per meter cube. And for the water, consider 1000. Okay. Remember from the lecture session, we said for the fluids, if they are stationary, or static for the static fluid mechanics uh, for static fluids the shape of the container doesn't matter and the pressure is going to only related to the density gravity and height or depths that's it that is why I suggested you to simplify these types of questions to make every unnecessary details vanish and the question is going to be much easier. For example, for this question, as you can see, we have the oil part. Uh, okay. And then the manometer starts from like a half a meter above the ground. Then we have this air trapped inside manometer. Again, the connection to the uh, Tank B is a little bit complicated. We have this shape and we have some water, one and a half meter water inside the tank. So it's complicated and these complications is going to make you make a mistake. So what's my suggestion? First, try to simplify and get rid of unnecessary geometries, which we know it is not uh, important for the pressure calculations. So let's first uh, identify the limits. So this is the top of the oil. Okay, I have that oil. Let me push it to the left a little bit. So this is the level of the oil. And this is going to be the level of the base. So I have oil for 0.6 meter at the top. So let's draw our uh, manometer. I'm going to draw our manometer mm, orange. So let's have 2.6 meter, the whole height of the manometer here. So I'm going to have manometer from top to bottom. And this is the manometer pipe here. For the top side, I, I'm going to have oil inside. Let me identify what's the height. Okay, this is the height of the oil. So let's color it yellow. So this is my level of the oil inside tank or any shape shape doesn't matter so I converted that tank shape to the manometer shape the rest is going to be water 
let me draw the rest of the money meter so I'm going to have like this and let's identify the level of the air going here and air here okay so I'm going to draw one meter up to level of the air so go up there up there okay let's first work on the level of the water inside so I need to have water under oil till the level of point C so let's fill with the water I'm going to use this blue so definitely here I have water under oil up to level C so up to here great let's draw the rest of the money meter it's going to be downward okay I need to identify the the level of the water at point D okay great so that is level of the point D so now from d which is this level i'm going to have water up to doesn't matter so i have the water so i can go down till the base so let's go to to the base great excellent now I need to identify the level of the water inside the tank B so let's identify the level of the water inside tank B so I'm going to have this monitor going up to the surface because I'm going to have air there excellent okay let's color the the level of the air the water inside tank B it is up to this level so I need to fill the whole money meter from that side to this side let me check if everything is okay yes 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 okay so let me write down the name of the, those points. I have point A here and then E here, C there, D, where is point B? Oh B is the tank so yeah this part is tank can write B yeah done now check out the left side which is complicated and right side which is really easy to read so it's very convenient now I need to make sure and identify the heights because here again the heights are are not clearly giving us the heights of the liquid different liquids we have there so uh, let me for example select some color mm, maybe red would be good case for us okay let's see what is the height of the oil for the oil the question says it is 0.6 meter 0.6 meter done 
for the water this side it is going to be two meters so two meters for the point C, it is going to 1.25 plus that half, so uh, 1.75. So this is the height for point C, 1.75 meter. Excellent. Okay, for point D, we have a little bit complication because from the base the height of the water inside tank B is one and a half meter the inlet of the pipe inside uh, tank B is 1.25 and height of the D is given from this inlet which is one meter so this distance is going to be 0 0.5 0 0.25 so I need to subtract 0.25 from 1 meter to get the height of uh, D from the level, from the surface of the water inside tank B. So it is going to be 0.75 meter, this height. Let me check once more. This is 1 meter. This is one and a half. This is 1.25. So we have 0.25 here. So we need to get rid of that 0.25 to, fi to find the level of the height of the D from the surface of the water inside tank. Great. Now I have everything. I simplified this complicated graph in terms of the simple uh, U-shaped manometers. Now I can write the pressure and find the pressure inside uh, tank B which is air trapped there so let's write so for the oil the height is uh, rho g h I'm let's write uh, rho for oil g h for oil I'm going downward from uh, so it's going to be, this is point A to, this is point E. From E, I'm going to go to the level of point C. So this height. Uh, the pressure is going to be, because it's downward plus, that height is going to be 2 minus uh, 1.75. So it's going to be, uh, row for water G height between E and C from C to D it's air so I'm just going to move for the air we're not going to consider any pressure again from point D we need to go downward till the level of the water that point 75 uh, let's name that point I'm going to name this point maybe F point F here which is here point F so it's downward again plus rho again for water G H between D and F from F I'm going to jump again the other side let's call it G here point G Yeah, that's it. This is going to be R pressure air in tank B. Let's put the values. So rho for oil is 900 times 9.81. Height is 0 0.6 plus rho for the water is 1000 times 9.81 times uh, that small portion which is going to be 2 minus 1.75 it's going to be 0.25 plus density of the water times 9.8 times D to F which is 
five times point seven five. This is going to be the pressure of the air inside our tank B. If you calculate pressure of the air is going to be where is it? I already did the calculation. It is going to be uh, fifteen thousand and hundred and seven point six Pascal or fifteen point one kilo Pascal. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this question and find out the importance of simplifying geometries because we can play with all those geometries and push you to make mistake. But you know always the geometry doesn't matter. You can simplify all the uh, difficult, like a complicated tank drawings to simple pipe if the, the flow is static, of course. Okay, thank you very much. See you next time for another example.